Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic is about the curse of Allah. Uh, you know, uh, Muslims, they have their own way to express love in Islam. And I have my own way to express my love to everybody, including Muslims. How a Muslim he express his love to you? And today I'm going to show you an example. Before we go there, uh, I remind the Muslims that your God curse is a proven from your book to be the most false and effective curse. And I'm going to show you from your own books how stupid is the curse of Allah. Which means whoever believe that your God Allah is capable of cursing, he is a fool and the proof is from your books. I saw uh, a comment by Abdul. I don't know if it's a Abdul or a Abdullah. Maybe it is a Abdullah. Saying, Mr. CP, keep mocking the Almighty Allah. And here, heart is WA. And look what happened here, just to show you the stupidity of the Muhammadan. They put the word SWA after Allah, and then they put the WSA, WA, uh, uh, S, uh, uh, sorry, SAW after Muhammad. I don't know what to say. What is a SWA for Allah? And why your God Allah, he need an SWA after his name? Very interesting. And why Muhammad, he need SAW after his name? Very interesting. Because you Muslims are so much slaves of titles. And you are afraid to say even the name of Muhammad, not only the name of God, without praising him. Allah, Allah Allah stupid religion, stupid cult, worshipping a man over God. If you read with me here carefully, he says, you will be struck by the worth of the Almighty God soon. My friend, I heard this 20 years ago. Look like you Muslims, you will say one day that a Christian prince died because Allah, he cursed him. The curse should happen from the first day I start making fun of your God. Your God, Allah, is my joke for all my life. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I am old enough to prove that your God curse is not functioning. And if the curse of Allah work, I mean, here we go, Israel is there. What about you curse the Israeli army and tomorrow will be demolished? Uh, what about you curse America and you Muslims will be the victorious and uh, your curse is not working I mean your curse cannot even free you know you curse everybody but you are the most uh, 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 I mean you have no security your country is, is full of war full of diseases hunger you know you flood Europe with refugees is that because you are cursed or because they are cursed what do you think people they flee the ocean risking their life just to go and live as refugee which is not really a nice life you know they give you a little tiny apartment but even that is enough for you because you are not a blast obviously the kuffar as the one is a blast they have a bread you don't they have roof you don't you have they have safe security you don't they have life you don't they have a job you don't so who is the one is cursed is Syria, Iraq, Somalia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, are they blessed countries? Absolutely not. Go and see Saudi Arabia. It's the most disgusting, stupid country ever. To the point, women, she can't even walk alone in the street and she is safe and secure. That is a curse. That is a curse. But here is a curse. It's a devilish, uh, you know. You curse yourself. You bring, you, you bring the word of God in yourself by following such a cult. To the point a woman she can't walk in the street why is that because the believers are good or they are a bunch of child molesters and rapists a woman walk alone on the street she is unsafe and she needs a guardian in Saudi Arabia do you know why because it is not safe and why it's not safe because this religion made women sex object so 
any man he see a woman in Saudi Arabia alone she became a target because Islam make you live not like a human you live like an animal who want to kidnap and rape if the chance is available even if she is your sister in Islam then look what he said you will be struck by the worth of Almighty God soon just like your uh, sincere puppet Nabil Qurashi yeah, you know, you Abdul, uh, you know, may the Lord bless Nabil Qurashi. He is in his way to heaven, and I'm jealous of him. But you stupid Muslims, you forgot that according to studies, the most countries who are filled with cancer is Islamic countries. Most of people who they have cancers in Europe, in America, they recover from it. But it is you Muslims who have no recovery. And if you want to have a recovery, if you can afford it, then you fly to Europe. Go and check all your kings and all your leaders where their hospitals are located. Is that because they are blessed or because they are cursed? So it's very stupid of you to believe that somebody have a cancer because he is cursed. If this is the case, then everyone who die because he's sick, he is cursed. And based on what you said, I'm going to spank your prophet as never before. Remember, you are the one who just said, that if you have a cancer or which means something ugly happened to you and you have like a bad uh, death and not a normal death obviously you are cursed how muhammad die do you know we can check it out if we go in the hadith the book of the hadith and remember it's not me who is saying so it's your prophet himself described to us how he died let us see what happened exactly. We go here. We found the following. Read with me, Abdul. Learn from what I'm going to show you that your God, Allah, is a shish kebab. He could not even save Muhammad, so how his curse will work. Muhammad he died literally like a rat by poison and I remember once I put a poison for a rat and then before the rat eat it I took the poison off uh, I hide it away because I was afraid the rat will eat it and then hide himself behind something and he stink it will stink the whole house uh, I believe at that time I was in Asia, you know, I was renting a place there and you know, uh, there is uh, uh, a lot of those uh, animals. So I said to myself, I'm not going to stick my house because of a rat. So I decided to get a cage in order to get this rat or a mice uh, captured. But in the case of your prophet, look what happened, my friend. The prophet in his element of which he died. Who is the one is talking? A woman, her name is Aisha. I think this name ring a bell for you, isn't it? This is the wife of Muhammad, the baby wife. Uh, the child molester Muhammad, he did marry a child. And now she is speaking, reporting all the incident, exposing how he started, how he died. The prophet... Allah pray on him and salute him in his element which he died you used to say oh Aisha I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar and at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut off from that poison my friend I watch a video of our brother Nabil Qurashi and the cancer in case you do not know uh, of our brother Nabil uh, spread and to the point that they decided even to take off his stomach now your prophet he have his stomach it's not off but look what's happening to him he was feeling for long time as knives cutting off his orta every every time and look what it says with me the reason I say this is for a long time it says and I don't know if you know how to read or you are illiterate like your prophet. It says, oh, I, he used to say, he used to say, it's not like something he said once or twice. He used, it's something he, she normally hear from the prophet saying, 
I am dying from that poison and I feel as if my orta is being cut off so our brother Nabil Khurashi may the Lord bless him and I am very jealous of him to be with the Lord right now you know we don't fear death and death mean nothing people get uh, you know we are born to die anyway you die normal death you buy you die by cancer you die by millions of people die and Muslims are no better than others and actually the most they, this is why they have short uh, age if you go in Europe the average of a person to live is 80 85 in in the in if you go to Mecca the average people they die maximum 70 you know 60 50 your prophet himself he died at the age of 63 which is very young compared to to a European and your prophet he died not a normal death and specifically in his stomach as you see and then he is saying something that this disease in his inside him spread spread to the point it's cutting off his orta and this is making me wonder is that really a poison or it is a cancer as long muhammad is a prophet and muhammad always even when he take about talk about medicine if you remember the story where a guy who have uh, cancer sorry he have uh, a brother who have disease or illness and he is uh, uh, suffering in his stomach uh, and he is suffering from uh, fever etc uh, he came to the prophet the prophet he told him to eat honey and when the guy was not uh, able to be recovered the prophet he screamed at him and he said to him your your brother stomach is lying and Allah told the truth which means Muhammad he claimed that even when he speak about health it's Allah talking and now he is speaking about his own health so it doesn't make sense that Allah speak about the health of the stomach of someone but Allah will not enlighten Muhammad about his own stomach and what's happening inside him so here Muhammad is describing how he died he died by poison and he was suffering badly so do you think Allah cursed Muhammad for his lies let us see if this is true if we go in the Quran we will find the following the verse in front of us chapter 69 verse number 46 it says actually let's read verse the verses before and verses after so the Muslim they will not say this is not about Muhammad And if the messenger were to invent any of our saying in our in our name, we would we should certainly size him by his right hand, and we should certainly then cut off his art the artery of his heart. Nor could any of you withhold him from our worth. And it's funny. That you use the same word yourself and the text you said may the word of Allah strike you so the verse is here saying that if Muhammad did invent fabricate words claiming to be the words of God certainly certainly we are going to size him from his right hand and we are going to cut off his artery remember I'm showing you your Islamic translation. I have nothing to do with it. I, for me, I do not need translation. Arabic is my first language. You can read any translation you want as you wish. All of them, they are saying the same. I'm just changing translation for you. So you enjoy the curse of Allah with your own eyes happening to your prophet. Do you see it? This Quran is not a poet, it's not invented, nor a word. And if, if the messenger, he had fabricated against us some of saying some, just some, that is enough to do what? To punish him by what? By certainly we will cut his order. If we go back to the Hadith, 
we will find that this is exactly how your prophet died read carefully my friend it says i feel as if my orta is being cut off from that poison that is amazing now a muslim he might say okay so you you just convinced us now that muhammad was cursed by allah and he's a false prophet but that confirmed that allah is god no yeah, my friend i don't believe that allah he did anything of this what i believe is what happened is the following muhammad he did not imagine that he will die in such a way so he fabricated this verse cursing himself that if he is lying if he is lying claiming that allah or god says so if he is lying and he fraud or or, or fabricate a false saying concerning us which mean allah we sure surely certainly will would size him from his right hand and then we certainly would have cut off his life artery orta muhammad he said that statement and he forgot that there's a true god is watching that is our lord the messiah he cursed himself saying ah, that will not happen to me i mean there is a million way to die what orta i mean what is the option to die by such a such a statement Muhammad, he should maybe killed by the sword because uh, he have a lot of enemies. Uh, maybe he die in the bed. Maybe he die, etc. But dying by cutting off his orta, what is the option of that to happen? It was like a one to a million, one to a two million. It happened exactly as he wished. If he is lying, if he is a scammer. If he is a thief, because all of this, by the way, is all together. He is a thief. You know, the, the one who, who claim words of God, he is a thief because he is using the words of God to steal your money, collecting donation, being, building the glory of his own. He is, a, he is a thief. He is stealing the glory of God, putting it on himself to make himself a prophet. If he have fabricated, if he fraud, he... So everything in front of us is proving that you're a prophet is... And now it is time to prove to you that the one who cut the artery of Muhammad is not Allah. Let us do that. And as you see, I don't use the Christian books to prove my points. I use your books. Because if I use the Christian books, you will say, ah, we don't believe it anyway. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Chapter 2, verse number 65. It says, And will you know those amongst you who transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath? We said to them, Be apes, and they became apes, you know. Okay, so what is that? The verse here is speaking that there is a group of the Jews who broke the Sabbath and Allah, he cursed them and he made them pigs and monkeys. All right. Let us continue. In chapter 4, verse number 47, look at this, your stupid Allah. And I am saying the word stupid right now. And I said it a million times before, if not more. And this verse is a clear proof that your God, Allah, is a potato. He does not exist. He is just a scam of Muhammad. Read with me carefully, all of you. Chapter 4, verse number 47. Allah gave Muhammad a verse saying, Tell the Christians, this is for us, the Christians specifically, the Christians and the Jews. This is not for the Hindus, this is not for the Buddhas. He said to them, O ye people of the book, believe in what we have now, which means the Quran, revealed, confirming what is already with you or what is with you. Before we change the faces and fame, some of them beyond recognition. So Allah, he threat. 
that he is cursing us if we don't go into belief and what is the curse will do he will delete all the details of our faces which mean our eyes our noses is not going to be is going is going to be upside down we will look funny allah will will, will make us uh, like apes and this is for the Christians in the time of Muhammad, but none of them became what Allah he claimed to be or he claimed to say to do. What is the curse of Allah? This is something he said 1400 years ago. Let us see the interpretation because I know you will say to me, I don't, you know, you are not really uh, telling the truth. Eh, you know, the Muslims, you are not really telling the truth. Have you ever seen a Muslim? You know, admit. Uh, if we go in the tafsir, we can find the you know we can find the tafsir saying clearly that this is Allah making a threat that if you don't believe in Him, Allah will make change the faces of those uh, uh, Christians and those Jews, and He will make them uh, you know uh, uh, un, uh, unable to be recognized. Uh, El tafsir dot com. All right. I want the Muslims Abdul to open the chapter again. This is chapter four, verse number forty-seven. All right, and uh, and this is your Islamic official website, not my website, not my interpretation. And this is Tafsir Al Jalalain. Al Jalalain. This is a Muslim scholar for those who do not know, very well approved by all the Muslim Sunni Abdul. Oh, you who be, have been given the scriptures, who is the one giving the scriptures? The Christians. Believe in what we have revealed of Quran, confirming what is with you of the Torah. We elaborate faces, erasing the eyes, the noses, the eyebrows in them and turn them inside out. My guys, if you see my face, you will not believe it. I feel it right now. My nose is going in. My mouth is going down. I mean, I don't know what's happening. Read with me carefully, brother. Allah is, his miracle is working. I, I, I was in the airport just a few days ago and they opened the passport and they said to me, how come you don't have eyes? I said, I don't know. My adri. They said to me, what happened to your nose? Where is your nose? I said, I don't know. My adri. They said to me, where is your eyebrows? I said, I don't know. My adri. What curse of Allah, you idiot? What curse of Allah? He told them, believe. Now, now, this is the Christians in the time of Muhammad. And he is giving you an example as what he did to the people of the Sabbath. So don't tell me this is about with the judgment day. Allah, he cursed them supposedly and he made them immediately, the, 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 the Jews, he cursed them and he made them already. Read with me carefully. And make them like apes. The necks are a flat, uh, a neck, a flat plate or curse them by transforming them into apes as we cursed trans and when we transfer those of the Sabbath among them and God command his degree done blah 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 where is the curse of Allah this is alone is a proven to us that Muhammad is nothing but a scam can't you see it are you blind are you how stupid this cult is How is stupid even to believe in Muhammad after what he just now showing you? How that can be true? How in the world anyone can believe in such a cult? And you are cursing me? And you are wishing me to be cursed by Allah? And now, as long we are talking about this, and we prove that Allah, He nothing, He's he is a big fat liar. He made a promise. He He said, I believe now, believe before. Huh? Believe now. Otherwise, we are going to do to you what we did to the Jews. And can you show me one Jew who became a monkey? You idiot, Muhammad. You claim a fairy tale story that a bunch of Jews 
who live in a village let me show you the story so we can laugh at this stupid idiot who called himself a prophet this man is a qualified to be a prophet for somebody he have a brain of a donkey actually even donkeys will not accept him read carefully with me the funny stupid story of those who Allah cursed them and he made them pigs and monkeys was alahum anil qariya lati kanat hadiratan hadirat al bahri idh ya'dun if it's etc so it, it asked him ask them at those who they are a, a village who is near the seashore in the sea like an island it is you know as is, is is they break the sabbath and what happened every sabbath allah he made all the fish and all the whales even whales come to them and dance in front of them and say to them ah, 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 you cannot fish us today it is sabbath this is the verse in front of your eyes. Please read it and laugh at this stupid God and a stupid Muhammad. Ask them concerning the town standing case uh, closed by the sea. Behold, great transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath, for on the day of their Sabbath, their fish did come to them openly, holding up their heads. Ah, 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 ah. But on the day they had no Sabbath. They come not like what the heck? I mean, how is stupid you Muslims to believe in such a garbage? So look what Allah He did supposedly. Allah He made the fish come and dance and do billy dancing in the top of the water. The fish will come and they will put head their head up the water and say, Hey Jews, I'm here. You cannot fish me. It is Saturday. Then when Saturday is over, the Sabbath is over, the fish disappear. Who is the one who made this happen? Allah. You see the wise Allah? Look how stupid Allah. He ordered them not to work in Sabbath. Yet, and those are fishermen. They're living, their food, their money, their life base. They have children to feed. They have family to feed. They are not fishing for fun. As you see, this is a town by the sea this is what they do for a living they are fishermen so what kind of a wise god he ordered people not to do fish in saturday and yet he make the fish in purpose come to them only in saturday for how long those jews can handle to stay without food they have family they have children how stupid that God is they are obedience but they are in hunger in the same time the same book the same stupid God in the Quran in chapter 5 verse number 3 he said that if one of you in Mahmasa which mean in hunger you can eat anything anything what anything yes anything so how come the Muslims they can break the order of Allah they can even eat pork if they are in hunger and the Jews they cannot break Sabbath how come Allah did not make the Muslims pigs when someone like Khalid ibn al-Warid he cooked a Muslim and he ate him and he raped his wife why Allah did not make him a pig here we see with us Read carefully. It's forbidden for you, blah, 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 potato, tomato, uh, pork, blah, 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 like all, all, you know, and they're trying to make a religion by copying it from the Old Testament. And here he says, But if any is forced by hunger with no inclination of to transgression, Allah indeed of fit forgiven and most merciful if we go to the story which is speaking here about the Jews hmm? 
we will find that those people they are facing hunger chapter 7 verse number 163 read and laugh stupid God stupid religion stupid book stupid stories and you Abdul who curse me a stupid human being yet I forgive you I'm not going to pray to God to curse you I will pray to God to save you however yet he might curse you for you are a hateful person right if you are a hateful person I mean your hate will kill you now we go to 163 sorry you see I don't explain the Quran by my own I show people what the Quran is saying what the Muslims believe and they question them oh Muhammad in rebuke about the city that was in the sea bordering the Red Sea uh, the under Red Sea Bahrul al, al khuzam and uh, this is was an elite uh, about uh, what be fair in the inhabitants how they would transgress violate the Sabbath by fishing which they had been commanded not to do on that day they are commanded not to do it but look what it says here they would transgress their fish would come to them on the day of their Sabbath floating in the service visible at the surface of the water but on the day that they did not observe the Sabbath which means there's no Sabbath they would you know they would disappear they would not come and this is was a trial from God this God is playing games with us we are like puppies for him so he says to us okay don't do fishing in Saturday okay God we have six days in the week anyway you know we can fish to say we have six days six days I mean it's about enough one day we'll be off that's good but look how filthy this God he make the fish disappear all the six days and he make the fish appear in the Sabbath so now we have a nation or a village of the Jews for six days they could not find a fish to feed their children the filthy God of Islam playing games he make the fish come in the top of the water and dance and do belly dancing and shake their head and their bum and say to the Jews we are here we are here you cannot fish us how in the world you can accept such a God to be even a qualified to be a God what is the wisdom behind this is a trial it, we just showed you in chapter 5 verse number 3 it says if you are in hunger you can eat even pork all the list before in this verse which is forbidden including pork even eating dead meat dead even dead human you can eat if you are in surviving mood how come Allah did not practice justice with the Jews he play with them and he abused them and he is a filthy God who make a fish appear only in Sabbath what kind of a wise God this God is and then he says thus where we trying them of their wickedness who is the one have wickedness here this is wickedness the, the, this is the wickedness of Allah the, he is the wickedness if I have a dog and I say to him I will feed you only one hour or 15 minutes a day from 1 to 1 15 and then I hide the food in those 15 minutes and then I put the food in the front of him all day long who is the wicked here guys do you understand what I'm saying do you see how stupid this story is who is the wicked obviously your God Allah is a wicked God sick disgusting he is playing games causing people hunger just to play a game what wickedness you are the wicked if you don't like this interpretation my friend 
you know, we can change the interpretation for you. Just for the sake of your comfort. Do you see it? Now, this story is easy to be proven to be a false story anyway, and the curse of Allah was a shish kebab. If I say maybe 70 to 80 percent of the Jews they break the Sabbath these days, I will not be exaggerating. Why Allah is not making them pigs and monkeys? I challenge all the Abdul in the world, the followers of the ugly image of Muhammad, who is God, the devil, Aka Allah, to make one Jew who break the Sabbath a pig or a monkey, as the Quran claim. Can you show me one person who was fishing on the seashore from the Jews? Go right now to Tel Aviv. Go right now to Haifa. And see how many Jews, as we speak today, today is Saturday, is a Sabbath, how many of them they are in the beach? Some they are doing fishing, some they are doing a sport, all of these activities should not be accepted. Why Allah is not making the Jews pigs and monkeys? Simply because this is a very stupid story made by a very stupid prophet, followed by a very stupid nation, written in a very yellow pages books, given to donkeys to chew it, not to understand it. And you are cursing me, you idiot. I challenge you, all of you Muslims, to curse me every day. I will give you, you see, actually, I made the, once a Muslim, he cursed me. His name is uh, Knight something, Muslim Knight, something like this. The guy, he cursed me, he said to me, may Allah kill you. Less than 48 hours after, he was in the, 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 the CI, like, you know, the special unit care. And I think he died. I'm not sure. I did not see him after that. But they told me that he have a heart attack, a very serious heart attack. Since then, we never saw him again. He cursed me. You can try. Your prophet is dead. And I did insult your prophet millions of times and you Muslims curse me every day I insult the devil every day which is Allah non-stop one day Christian Prince will die and they will say ah see Allah curse happened you are right we will die my friend we are human people die every day people die by diseases by accident and as you see your prophet he died like a rat I hope rats will not sue me for saying that because they will feel insulted. But this is what the hadith is saying, what I can say. He said clearly that if he is fabricating Quran, Allah will cut his orta. And this is exactly what our Lord did to Muhammad as a penalty and a punishment and as additional proof to the Christians that Muhammad is a false prophet. How you can deny such a proof that Muhammad is a false man. He cannot. Everything Muhammad speak of proven to be false, including him making a promise if he fabricate it work against him. Do you remember the that you know? I don't know, like he said in one of the debates, as I remember. Uh, that if he is lying, may God mute him. The that was not able for speaking for years. And he died like a rat. But why he would die better way? Is a prophet die like a rat before him. So you, you know, your prayer is a prayer of hate. And you Muslims, you have no better to learn better, to say better, to do better. You see, Christians, if you uh, 
uh, you know if you say something wrong to them they will say the Lord bless you we pray for you and I do the same I try to be my best to be Christian sometime I succeed sometime I fail because sometimes people make you angry you know and you are you know sometimes the devil he drive you into anger but I say to you my friend I forgive you for saying that and I wanted to spank you just to make you wake up your God can curse nothing no one and if cursing you Muslims will be saved with then look around you and see who is the one flying in the top of Mecca right now to protect the Kaaba it is the American F-16 if you want to see who is the one protecting your Sunni from the Shia it is the American F-16 I heard in the news that the Prince of Qatar he bought or he made a deal with I think uh, I forgot which uh, I think America USA to buy uh, a, a group of airplanes and the project it's called Ababil imagine they call it Ababil why Ababil the Prince of Qatar he is buying airplanes spending billions and billions of dollars from USA and calling it Ababil for those who do not know what Ababil Ababil is a word coming from the Quran in the Quran Muhammad he come with the fairy tale stories that a group of Christians they came to destroy the Kaaba during the Kaaba was under the pagan authority and Allah he sent birds are called Ababil and those birds they carry rocks and they throw rocks at the Christian army which is army of elephants see said though not how the Lord dealt with the companions of the elephant did he not make their eternal blah 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 astray and he sent against them a flight of birds striking them with the stones backed clay <laughs> so why Allah sorry why the Prince of Qatar the King of Saudi Arabia the King of Jordan all your Islamic countries are kissing the asses of the European the American the French the British build bases in your countries to protect you go and get the Ababil can't you get the Ababil my friend why you need the American Ababil you go to America and you sign a deal with them to make you an F-16 and you call the project Ababil Obviously, because you give up about the Ababil of Allah. It's not coming, never come. And not to forget to mention how stupid this story is. Elephant in Saudi Arabia. How an army of elephant is going to come all the way from Africa. Crossing the desert. Do you know how much water an elephant he want? We will, we'll, you know, elephant. Not only he need water to drink, a lot of water. He need the water to cool down. Not only to spray on himself, he need to jump in it. And during the daytime, if you keep the elephant in the sun for a few hours, he he die. Because elephants, as many animals in Africa, they don't have a cooling system, like us as a creatures. We sweat. They don't sweat. So what they do? They jump in the water. In order to call themselves, so the, the uh, according to science, I think they need about 500 to 600 liter of water to drink, just to drink. Additional to that, they need to cool themselves down. This is why during the time when they are, if you watch an African uh, uh, safari, you will see all those big, huge animals. They are swimming in the water. They keep themselves in the water. They cover themselves with mud. The mud is not because they are uh, you know, really like mud, but the mud is going, going to cool them down and keep the insect away. So what elephant is coming to Mecca? How in the world you can believe in such a garbage? Why your God don't protect Mecca? And not to mention to forget how stupid is a story. Allah, he sent elephant send sorry a bird to destroy an army of a Christians who they are supposed to according to Islam they are believers believers and he did not send an army or our birds to destroy the army of 
al qurmati who destroyed the Kaaba. The Kaaba was destroyed many times. This is what history report, the Muslim history report. Al Qurmati, he took the black stone and he made it a poop stone for more than 21 years. Where was the birds of Allah? And not only that, Al Qurmati stood in the middle of the Kaaba when he is destroying it and he was screaming to Allah, saying, Where is your birds? Hmm? Where is your birds? Al Qurmati, he did not die by cancer, my friend, and nobody killed him. And the Muslim to get the black stone back from Al Qurmati after 20 years and more. They ask the Caliphate of Egypt, who is a Shia, to be the middleman between them and Al Qurmati. And they bought the stone back. They bought it. Allah did not return it. And you guess what? The stone, you Muslims have it now in the Kaaba, is not the same stone. The Hadith says that the black stone, when it returned, it was a lot lighter and it broke in pieces. The Muslim, with their stupidity, they say, that because the black stone was happy to come back this is why it was lighter when he took it by force the black stone don't want to go i mean look how stupid those people believe in stones as gods this is why they kiss it and the prophet he said there is two corners in the kaaba whoever touched him allah will erase his sin pagan rituals touching stones will erase your sin my friend You can curse me as much as you wish. Allah, your God, is a potato. And here we peel off his skin and we fry him and we expose him and we hang him from his ears in the laundry machine, sorry, the laundry belt or the laundry rope with all the underways of Muhammad. Who is your God? You have no God. You have just a fiction stories a god who promised you endless penis how stupid you are to believe in this a god who promised you eighty thousand virgins to sleep with you must be a horny dog to believe in such a garbage who in the world he need eighty thousand women what to do what with them exactly how i can stay why i want to, why i want to have eighty thousand women and eighty thousand slaves you have to be mentally ill It's like saying to me now, I'm going to give you 80,000 sandwiches. Well, I can keep, I can eat maximum two or three. What I would do with the rest? Am I going to spend my eternity having sex? Is that heaven? 80,000 women? And all of them, they look the same. They have the same face, the same eyes, the same tongue, the same name, the same. Everything is what's how stupid. It's like sleeping with one is a sleeping with all. What the point of having 80,000 women? They look the same. And all of them, they are transparent. We can see through their bones. Why? You Muslims are in love with jellyfish. So Allah, he promised you he will give you 80,000 jellyfish. you are telling me I curse you have you ever heard of madness of someone imagine now I go in the street and I say to people if you believe in me my name is a Christian Prince I'm a prophet of Allah if you believe in me Allah will give you women who they are transparent and you can see through their bones you can imagine how many bones they will throw at me. Because those people here have a lot of dogs. They have a lot of bones at home. I want to see through their bones. And you believe in this? And you are asking your God to curse me? I mean, it's obvious your God is a true God. Look at this promise. They are beautiful to the point they are transparent. My wife, she eat a hamburger. I see the hamburger in her stomach. I will see the poopoo in her stomach. I will see her bones and through her bones. I mean, how sexy that is, how beautiful. Oh, I don't want to talk about it more because that might make the Muslims get tempted and start having some kind of, uh, you know, hot time. What kind of a human being will believe in such a garbage? This is the true curse, my friend. You are cursed by for believing in such a garbage. 
already you are cursed but you have a curse of a devil the devil you are possessed by the devil the devil he made you believe and follow a sexual God who tried to tempt you or what about the hadith where it says that Allah will give you a penis which will never go limp have you ever heard of a God do that I mean who is the stupid here the God or the believer the God or who believe in such a garbage read with me carefully Abdul there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Horis and 70 from the inher I will inherit women. I will inherit women for bed. That's nice. Wonderful man. And then he says, All whom you have desirable front. Allah is telling me that all the women he will give me in the heaven, they have nice excuse my language, guys. This desirable front is about their breast and their vagina. What kind of God this God is? Oh, don't worry, their breast will be fine and their vagina will look good. Hello? Okay, are you okay now? Yeah, don't worry about that part. Yes, they are really perfectly done. Yeah. And then he says, and the male, he, the male, will have a penis. You see here they're trying to be polite in the translation, but it says it clearly in Arabic, penis. Actually, it's not even penis. It says an even more dirty word. That never become Floss said, never go sleep. And between two brackets, they say to you, i.e. soft and limp. And you are asking your God, this God, to curse me? The God of penis? The God who promised you that your penis will not go soft? Why well, you don't fight Israel with your penis? What about you take over America by fighting Trump by your penis, which is never would never go flaw flaccid? I mean, what do why you need F16? Penis cult, penis religion. Who told Muhammad this information? God. What kind of God he sent a message to Muhammad about the penis? Brother Sitter. Al Sitter Adkat Quatin. How I'm going to go to heaven? And the Muslim man is going to have to take with 80,000 women. First of all, you need to remember that every Muslim man in the heaven, his penis will never go to sleep. I mean, this is this is religion. This is a religion to follow. I want to say thank you guys for being here. And I pray to the Muslims to see the truth and to wake up. We mean no harm but to share and save people me myself i love the muslims but they don't love me however my lord he said to me love everybody and be with them guide them we travel around trying our best to do our best we write books trying our best to share the truth but yet they curse you and obviously your curse is not working I want the Muslims to curse me that all the donation I receive will not work you know I mean like uh, let us make it this way uh, because I saw in the comments somebody saying to me uh, you collect donation huh? yeah, I collect donation yes I do your private collect donation I can show you but the donation Muhammad he got is to spend on women and sex I don't I want you Muslims to do this to curse me that my donation will go down because each time you do it my donation go up so please please can you do so because our donation is down really I mean it's not uh, what I want it's not down but it's not really what I need so I hope that the Muslims will curse us so the Lord will bless us and we will receive more donation. Or maybe you can curse my books that nobody will read them and nobody will buy them. Because I am sure if you do so, 
more and more people they will buy and read my books your curse is a blessing for us and it is really needed so I encourage you Muslims and I challenge you to curse me in the same time I will not curse you may the Lord open your eyes make you see wake you up from your madness stupidity sexuality blind by bracelet of gold and bracelet of silver blind by women legs and breast as the Quran described them blind by fruits and shish kebab and hummus this is not God God is not a pimp from Las Vegas God is holy and his place and his heaven is holy no place can be more holy than the place of God where he is going to have and gather his people his place is not a bar you are looking for women and sex boys men to have sex with will then go to Las Vegas or go maybe to Thailand for sure you will find your God Allah there but that is not my God with this I want to say thank you for being here everybody today at night we will have a broadcast around 7 30 with the brother Amir again the broadcast will be in German and English if you are interested please tell your friends and the same link we shared in the previous video yesterday is going to be the same yesterday we have difficulty to start the broadcast I hope today was going to be easier and until I see you again around 7 7 30 be blessed and stay safe and pray for the Muslims that their curse will be blessing for us and they will be saved from the religion of cursing and hate and they will understand that the best and the best of God is love and people who learn what love means they don't curse each other even if somebody is doing wrong against me cursing someone is a sign of satanic act because you are not wishing something good especially if this person he is doing his best to save you maybe let us say he is wrong let us say Christian Prince he don't understand Islam maybe he is not smart why you want to curse me try to save me but no because the Quran says it clearly that Allah is the deceiver this is my book it's called the deception of Allah the Quran says that Allah is the deceiver and there's tons of verses in the Quran about that and we can show you tons of verses all those verses saying clearly that Allah is the deceiver chapter 4 verse number 88 chapter uh, uh, 4 143 a chapter uh, 6 39 a chapter blah 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 oh, endless endless all of it speaking of one thing that Allah is the deceiver loud and clear and open and he is the true deceiver woman you'd little law chapter 39 verse 23 chapter 39 verse number 36 uh, it's all over I mean all over the Quran and I pick up only just one word which is deceiver uh, as you see all of this all of this I'm just using one word by the way if I use more words in the search you will find how amazingly the Quran present itself as an evil book with the clear evidence chapter 4 verse number 88 just before we go you can read any translation you wish any translation all of them they are lying in the translation but just to give you an example This is the Muslim translation. He whom Allah sent astray for him, Muhammad, there is no road or there is no guidance. Well, Allah sent him astray. Why? <laughs> See, they try to lie, saying that here it is, uh, you know, uh, he, he just what's what sending astray? How you can send him astray by deceiving him? The word in Arabic, yudlil, yudil, liars, shame on you. Send astray, what's in astray? Where is that? In which dictionary you get this one from? See the deception. Look at this one here. 
uh, uh, him who Allah has caused him error. So who is the one who caused me error? Allah. So why you are cursing me? I mean, how stupid is your curse? Allah, he caused me to be in error and now you want to curse me for the error caused by Allah. What, what about you curse Allah? He is the one who caused the error. <laughs> and whom's Allah, whom's ever Allah caused to be deceived, you shall know, have no mean to find him away. That's it. There's no guidance. Allah caused him, Allah caused him to be deceived. What you can do about it? This is how stupid this cult is. Thank you, everyone. May the Lord bless you. And enter, we'll see you in a few hours again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And don't forget, please, to download my videos and share them with your friends. Thank you, and God bless.